first kiss. Okay. Um, yeah, so what just happened to you first kiss and a little bit about yourself? Uh so I'm a poet, I'm a hip hop artist. I'm a mentor, uh, I'm a father, I'm a creative, you know, so that's one of my, like, you know, strongest things that I utilize is, like, just being able to create, you know, that's how I, like, unite the community, that's how I tell stories, that's even, like, some of my ways that I'm, you know, looking at parents, and now as I'm a new parent, like, just always staying creative, you know, and assisting my, you know, daughter with having creative outlets, you know, so I'm a creative, that's me. Gotcha. Um, awesome. So I was looking a little bit on some of your social media mm -hmm. and on your website. And can you tell me just a little bit about some of the stuff that you are um, involved in? I saw um, that you are the founder of Heavy Energy University. Yes, indeed. Can you tell us about that? So, Heavy Energy University is really just like a, me and my brother started our organization, Soul Society, five years ago. That's our nonprofit organization for um, youth mentoring and community empowerment. You know, so there were a number of things we wanted to, you know, do within that for the community. And um, as I was, you know, doing my music, because I'm, I'm an artist, um, I was touring, I was putting together my tours and things of that nature, and I wanted to create another company that was really a representative of everything that I was doing within that realm of my music and designing clothing and curating art galleries and stuff like that. So I created Heavy Energy, because um, I'm all about energy. People have told me that like my energy has been heavy or infectious, you know, and there were times when that wasn't the best thing because of, you know, certain things, you know, going on, but through creativity, I figured out, you know, different ways to bring people my life, you know, and that energy was just as heavy, so I created heavy energy. <laughs> no doubt, I appreciate it. see their art, you know what I'm saying, in somewhere like a gallery, but also as a space for like a, just being connected, you know, being able to express, you know, develop a union, you know, with people, you know, cause we have an idea of wanting to be youth mentors and develop the community and empower it. So we were just using like our gifts and our talents of bringing people together through arts, you know, through, through doing writing workshops. You know, we wanted to be impactful on the economic side and we don't have all the information so we put together a program to you know uh, just discuss economic development you know and how to you know work within that um, so we put together programs like that we've done uh, here in Greensboro you know with uh, brother Akeem and Dominic um, Ham from Intellectual Action there um, an event or uh, an experience called Beautify the Block where we just go to the community clean it up and then hydrate the hood where we just give away water because we are distributors for live alkaline water, the black owned water source from black owned land that we are now distributing, you know, and we know that the water is bad even in the communities that are around us. You know, Flint kind of put like a bright eye on, you know, certain things and, you know, had even people, you know, thinking about what's going on or bringing to light, you know, the terrible water that's going on in their community and it's here too. So since we have the money and we are, I mean, have the water and are able to actually create, you know, a source of income through it, we know that there is a group, you know what I'm saying, of our people, you know, that might not be getting this water. They might go, you know what I mean, get the dollar water. So we want to be like, nah, we got this, let's give it to you. You know, so those are, I mean, I could run down a whole list because we have been in operation for five years. Well, you know, I guess this summer would be six. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's been a lot of different things, a lot of people we connected with, you know, and partnered with, because we have Soul Society as an entity, but we really utilize it to create our, you know what I'm saying, people, or create a collective to even work with other, you know, collectives. 
it's all about growth, you know, and not just our name, you know, but, you know, connecting with other people. So even partnership has been a huge thing, you know, with us, or even being an example, you know, of uh, community development and stuff like that. So, yeah, I ain't gonna try, I ain't gonna get long with it, I can't go. <laughs> To you. I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what it is you create, you know, with your nonprofit and you know how we can partner, you know, and work together in the future. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, okay, so my next question is about the exhibit itself. Can you tell me just a little bit about it? Like, what's it about? Um, what um, it all entails and stuff like that? So, it's called Soul Liliquies, but I'm spelling it S O U L. Um, and soul is stories of underground legends, you know, so, um, uh, you know, just I, I had a lot of artists, you know, give or display or submit images of people they felt like were legends, you know, um, that, that were underground legends and some that aren't, weren't so underground, but people that they wanted to highlight, you know, so, and, and I had this idea because I do have like my album series strictly for my niggas. And I got, you know, Act 1 and Act 2 is USA, United States of Affliction. And I had the title Soul Liliquies, where I wanted to highlight ancestors and, or even living, you know what I'm saying, legends, you know, that um, have inspired me, you know what I mean, or have inspired our culture, you know what I mean, or, you know what I mean, studying history and going back a little bit further to see how we've been inspired, you know, as well. And um, so I wanted to do that through my album, but like I said, I'm a creative. <laughs> you know, and I've been doing these art galleries and I was like, well, how can I really, you know, take bringing this idea to life in a whole nother way? And I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna just collaborate, you know? So, uh, you know, now I got a bunch of artists that have submitted all these phenomenal images, you know, these paintings. I'm standing in the gallery right now, spinning in a circle, just looking around and I still got more stuff, you know, but yeah, I wanted it to be highlighted. So, and because I'm a poet, because I put together events, um, and I can't do that right now because of COVID. What I'm doing is like putting the QR codes beside each painting to where there will be a story or song or something like that that's connected to each painting. So people have to come to the gallery with their headphones on. And then they'll scan the QR code that's beside the painting. That um, QR code will take them to the poem, song, or whatever it is. And they'll be able to experience the gallery. I mean, well, really, you know, what, what really inspired it, though, was just not only wanting to highlight, you know, people behind me, you know what I mean? But I'm like, you know, there's people like my grandfather that's very influential in his community and has been highlighted, you know what I mean, by the state, you know, with the Green Leaf Award, but everybody don't know who he is. And I know he didn't do it for that, but I know he got so many other underground legends that I'm like, it's so powerful, you know what I'm saying, if our young, you know what I'm saying, people know what we've already done. You know, I feel like that's inspiring to them, and I'm, one of my deepest ways to be able to connect with them is through art. So, really just wanting people to know about my grandparents, <laughs> you know, inspired me to like, all right, well, how can I get some of the history of New Orleans? How can I get some of the history of Atlanta? How can I get the history of your grand uh, grandmother? And stuff like that. Um, I really want them to really like think about the art of storytelling, you know, when they think of music, when they think, you know, specifically hip hop, you know, because sometimes we get a bad rap and I know all the music ain't, you know, the most tasteful, 
you know, but I want people to think of all art in a way of storytelling, looking at a visual and seeing a story with it, but thinking about the collaborative aspect, because I submitted some of these images to a lot of poets as well, and gave them a chance to really like submit one of their poems that they feel like connect with the painting, or create a whole nother story that'll be attached to that QR code. You know, so just to see like what you can do with all of the artists, you know, in your community, you know, when you have opportunity, you know, I have an opportunity to utilize this full gallery, you know, so I'm like, all right, you know, let me highlight all the homies, you know, and get them included, you know what I'm saying, let me bring some of the homies, you know, to a gallery if they may have never even thought about being in a gallery before and having this experience, like, it's a lot of things I can do as one person just by providing an opportunity. You know, and that's what me and my tribe is all about. So I just, you know, those, I guess I did give you a little list of things when you said what's one thing I want people to live, I mean, leave with. So maybe they'll combine all that together <laughs> and make it one. So yeah, listen to my album before you come and bring headphones with you so that you can get the full experience. Your eyes will give you the, um, an experience. Your ears plus your eyes will give you a greater experience. Damn, well, you gotta type all this? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, you hear me typing? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> So if you if you had if you had access to this audio, what would you do with it? Um, if I had access to for one, I would definitely go back over it again. Um, just it would basically just stick between me and um, going back like typing up in the article itself. But um, basically, like this article that I'm writing, it'll go up um, for a lot of our students to see, and so it'll there's like because what we do. Is Okay. What we do is we find like opportunities like throughout our community for students to get involved in or things that you know that are happening in the Greensboro community that people may not have heard about or may not have seen or may not know about. And so what we do is we we find like all these opportunities, um, mainly just for our students to get out because it's a lot uh, with COVID and all it's it's definitely like taking a toll on like a person's mental health and so mm -hmm. Just so they can have something to do um, within their community, and also just like interacting with people in their community. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily have to be just like finding something to do, but just necessarily like networking or communicating or um, connecting with people that are that look like us. That, um, like you said, like people are just like getting people together and giving them that opportunity to mm -hmm. um, make connections and these experiences. For sure. Well, I might be able to possibly get you this audio, you know, because uh, I'm in the gallery and I got, you know, my uh, my man's Marquise, you know, is in here recording and um, he's recording right now. I don't know how clear you was able to get catch this audio. Boom. So I might be able to, you know, get you this audio. Oh, yes, that would be great. <laughs> I heard you clicking them keys away. I'm like, oh, man. And I know I was giving you an earful, too. I'm like, hey, that's going to be hectic, especially if she can't play this back. But uh. Yeah, for sure. If I can get that to you, um, I can't guarantee it'll be right away, but I'll, I'll get it to you. Awesome, awesome. And I will um, send it to him with like my email, or and you, or you can just send it to his phone number. However, um, it works for you. I'll send both. Okay. All right. Awesome. No doubt. Thank you so much again. No doubt, no doubt about it. I appreciate you, and I see you registered uh, for your uh, for the show Friday. Yes, I did. Bet I see you Friday. No doubt, peace.